Alright, here we go. Check out Sure Shot Shooting Supplies. It's a great American-owned family business. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Therapy Range. I'm Paul Riley, and I'm here to blow some stuff up today. Yeah. Yeah, so what I did is I got my, uh, I got my loaner cannon out, my 8-gauge mini cannon that's on loan to me from a good buddy that shoots these bad boys. These are 8-gauge eight, uh, eight buckshot rounds. I don't know if they're actually double lot or not, but I know that they're big and they're nasty. And one of the things I wanted to talk about before we start shooting this, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but these shells are not made for traditional shotguns. Even if you manage to come up with a, an 8 gauge shotgun, these rounds will not fit it. These rounds were uh, are specially used for the removal of slag out of smokestacks at power plants and other facilities that have smokestacks. Uh, the, the creosote and stuff builds up over time in the smokestack and they've got a special, shot, a special firearm des design that takes these shells and this stuff flies up into the smokestack, hits the slag, breaks the slag loose, causes it to come down to where they can actually get it cleaned up and ready to uh, to be removed from the from the smokestack. So I'm gonna turn this around here real quick. All right, there she is. That be our eight gauge cannon. Got her strapped down real good so it don't fly off the table. Got a backstop back air to make sure that uh, everything stays safe. I've got a few cabbages, pineapples, a can of green tea, and some other stuff. We're just going to blow it up. We're going to smoke this stuff, get it all over the place, and have a good time doing it. Good time doing it. I hope you're ready for your therapy because I know I am. It's been like three or four days since uh, since I was able to shoot a video. So without any further ado, it's time to shut up and shoot. Let's get our therapy on, eh? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to get this bad boy loaded up and get to blowing some stuff up. There we go. Now she's locked in real good. Eyes and ears, everybody safe. Blowing up cabbage in three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty violent. <laughs> uh, making coleslaw on the table well I tell you what man it just absolutely incinerated that head of cabbage let's do it again therapy range coleslaw in three two one fire in the hole <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness it's so, so much fun to me me sometimes i feel bad for all the cats out there in communist america that doesn't get the opportunity to take part in this kind of fuckery it's so much fun it is it is just an absolute blast let's do it again yeah it's pineapple time <laughs> yeah let's do it Blowing up a pineapple in three, two, one, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh, my camera's taking a beating. My camera's taking a beating, people. <laughs> Puree. 
puree pineapple. Mmm, smells good out here. So there's a big old hunk of it. Blew that bad boy right in half. But I tell you what was pretty cool is I got chunks of pineapple. I saw a landing way in the hell over here. Right there's a little hunk of pineapple. And over there's where I was shooting it from. You know, people tell me that I should stop wasting all this food out here. But I don't see it as a waste. I see it as a, as a public service to the wildlife on Therapy Range. You know, the raccoons are hungry too. The possums are hungry too. Everybody gets to eat on Therapy Range. Let's blow up another pineapple. Making pineapple puree on Therapy Range in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, the mess, the mess, the camera hates this. All right, it's getting messy out here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, the dogs, the dogs, the dogs. There's nothing I can do about it. The dogs belong to the neighbors. Therapy range belongs to me. They tolerate Therapy Range doing the things that Therapy Range does over here. Sadly, that means that I have to tolerate the barking dogs. It is what it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I'm just happy to have a place that I can come out here and take part in this fuckery without being bothered by a bunch of people, so it's a completely fair trade-off. I know the dogs annoy me too, but it's the price to pay. Is it watermelon time? Can I say that? Did Scott... Did Scott copyright that can i say it's, it's watermelon time it's watermelon time well i tell you what i'm going to be hating life today after i get done with this shoot everything is so sticky from the pineapple the camera stands are sticky the cameras are sticky the guns sticky everything sticky out here on therapy range that's why it's important to do all the youtube mumbo jumbo like subscribe share all that other jazz hit the notification bell Check out the affiliate links. I hate spamming you guys with my videos, but I gotta make money. And the only way I'm gonna make money is if you guys go and take part in supporting the businesses that I have affiliate links for, including PatriotShit.com. That's my business. Everything, 100% of everything from Patriot Shit Outfitters comes back to Therapy Range. Visit TherapyRange.com. I've even got merchandise on TherapyRange.com these days. You should do that. It really helps. Thanks. Yeah. Now, let's blow some more stuff up. Stop talking, more boot shooting. Yeah, okay. All right, everybody, it's watermelon time. In three, two, one. One. Two, one. I certainly hope <laughs> that I got enough footage to be able to get some cool slow-mo shots of this because uh, it, it, it looks pretty impressive. I hope that we got some good slow-mo footage. Now, I know my camera is covered. Camera is covered in watermelon and pineapple and cabbage. Check this out. There's the GoPro. The sacrifices that are made for your entertainment can only be compensated with your likes, subscribes, and comments, and especially comments. Comment, 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 guys. I can't stress to you how important that is. Every video that I put out that has a lot of comments on it ends up getting driven up higher in the algorithm where more people get to see it. So comment, comment, comment. I'm going to take one more shot. I'm going to take one more shot. We're out of produce, but I do 
still have some fire extinguishers over here and I'm curious what this 8 gauge will do to a fire extinguisher. Would you like to find out? Would you like to find out together? Yeah, together. Let's do it. In three, two, one. Boy, my camera is absolutely taking a beating today. But I tell you what, that was pretty impressive. Let's go check out the, the tank. So here's the tank. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight gauge does a, does a fire extinguisher up just right. You know, back there's where I was shooting it at. So uh, it threw this fire tank extinguisher probably a good 35, 40 feet. That was pretty damn violent and pretty damn entertaining. If you agree with me, make sure and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would do with an 8-gauge mini cannon. What would you shoot at? If you had an 8-gauge table cop mini cannon at your availability, what kind of jackassery would you take part in to have fun with? Live your life to the fullest because anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. It's time to get off the couch and educate yourself and learn what you can be do to be the change that you want to see happen in America. Until then, stay free. Straight Shooter Coffee, the official coffee of Therapy Range. It's time to shut up and shoot. Hi, here we go.